Hi, I'm Bhavna Sumaya and here is my review of this week, Aditya Chopra's film, Thugs of Hindustan. The little princess decorates her sand castle with a royal flag while waiting for her mentor whom she calls Baba. The king and the queen are anxious because this is the first time the little prince is accompanying the warrior. Set in 1795, Vijay Krishna Acharya tells the story of old India, the royalties and the palaces and also about the British East India Company threatening our freedom. Eleven years later, John Clive, Lloyd Owen, continues to be the antagonist, while Khudabaksh Azad, Amitabh Bachchan, is the loyal warrior who dreams to free Hindustan. The other protagonists include Firangi Malla, that is Amir Khan, a small-time thug from Awadh who will sell his soul for money. He rides a donkey who he addresses as Nawab and plays the flute to signal his folks of an opportunity. The beautiful Suraya, Katrina Kaif, is a court dancer, now engaged to entertain the foreigners, and Zafira, Fatima Sana Sheikh, the only survivor of the royal family, is sworn to vengeance. First and foremost, it is important to emphasize that the scale and the grandeur of the film is extraordinary. The production and the art design is diligent and flawless. The film excels in every technical department, the costume, the choreography, the cinematography, and most important, action. Precisely written and passionately directed, Vijay Krishna Acharya grips you with a screenplay combining diverse characters and thought-provoking dialogues. This is a film more about star presence than performances. Katrina Kaif adds spice with her beauty and dance. Fatima Sana Sheikh, or the Dangal girl as she is referred to, is convincing both in action and emotional sequences. As Firangi Malla, Amir Khan is deliciously wicked and has you hooked on to him as long as he's on screen. Hats off to Amitabh Bachchan and his super timing as an actor. As a warrior, he rides a horse, shoots arrows, jumps off the cliff and dives underwater. As a father, he sings lullaby. In his abode, he's the Masiha. Locked in chains, he resembles Jesus Christ. Thugs of Hindustan is long, slow, takes many liberties and has serious continuity problems. The film is definitely not everyone's taste and takes a while to grow on you, so it requires a lot of patience from the audience. But it is worth a watch for the scale, for the writing, for the message, for the intention, the effort, and the combination of Khan and Bachchan. I rate Thugs of Hindustan with three stars. If you like my review, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you don't like it, you must definitely comment so that I know where to improve myself.